It can withstand a rather large man landing directly on it and breaking bones in his back, but not breaking your phone in the process. So... What's up, everybody? This is Scott. Welcome back to another video. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about Rhino Shield and all of their cases or some of their cases for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And this year's design, I absolutely love what they've done in terms of being able to protect your phone from, I don't know, say falling off a horse and breaking your back. Yeah, Rhino Shield can protect you from that. So let's first talk about the Rhino Shield solid suit, super tough case protective design that they have. Now this particular one that I have right here and the one that you can see on screen is the all black version. Now it offers protection all the way around it and on the back as well. Of course it doesn't offer the front face protection because that's where you need to have the, the actual Rhino Shield screen protector on it. But that aside, it offers all around protection, top, bottom, middle, and everywhere in between. So it has a nice premium finish with really durable materials. It does have that 11 foot drop protection with the honeycomb design that you're accustomed to seeing out of every Rhino Shield case that's out there. Now the cutouts on the solid suit are absolutely perfect. The buttons are nice and clicky. Uh, smash the like button if you are a clicky button person like me. I absolutely must have a case that has clicky buttons on at every single moment of my life because I'm OCD like that. So overall, the solid suit design is one that I enjoy. It is not my number one Rhino Shield go-to, and that's where the next ones come in. So the next ones are the Crash Guard NX and the Mod NX, which is actually, all three of them are bumpers. So I have a black, a white one, and a red one, and I use the red one on my particular device because red is my favorite color. The cool thing about these particular ones, they offer the same protection, obviously. It's a bumper, so you can put your hand straight through but the same clickiness, the same buttons, features that you see before are all there. Now, this year they've done something a little bit different. Because this is a modular bumper case system, you can now get things like clear inserts or even things with like nice design inserts to make sure that if you wanted to add a little bit more protection to your particular bumper case, I don't know, if you're going horseback riding, you have the ability to do that. If you want to do just the bumper, you can do just the bumper. But if you want to do bumper and a little bit of a back protection, you have the ability to do that with this modular bumper case system. Now this modular system is really easy. You can see on screen right now, as I'm talking, I'm literally dropping the back plate in. And all of a sudden now I have protection on every single aspect of my phone, with the exception of the front screen. But again, I talked about in the back. Now, if I want to pop this out and change designs and go to something else, I literally just pop it out and that's it. I go back to the bumper design, flop the phone out, take this out, and I can go back to the complete bumper system if that's something that I want to do. I really enjoy the look and the feel of these Mod NX and these Crash Guard bumpers, but sometimes there's the ability because on the back of the iPhone, I don't want it to get scratched. Throwing something like this in there, if I'm going to do something a little more heavy duty, absolutely love the fact that I don't have to worry about that. And I still get to get that really nice, aesthetically pleasing design of a bumper case. Of course, like the other ones, you can swap out the buttons and make different colors that you want. But I went with an all red because I have the space gray. So I went with a red bumper and a space gray iPhone 11 Pro Max to get me that Ohio State design that I wanted. And I uh, kind of want to talk to you about this whole thing. Does it offer as much protection being a bumper and the Mod NX backplate? Uh, I can attest to 100% that this thing will withstand a rather large man falling directly on it from about six foot high being bucked off a horse. I went camping and I got on a horse for the first time. And unfortunately, that horse evidently didn't either like the fact that I weighed a lot or I was wearing a red poncho. He immediately took off and bucked a little bit. I had the iPhone 11 Pro Max in a bag that was on my back. I immediately was ejected from the horse and landed on my back. Uh, I broke two bones in said back, but I can tell you for sure that the iPhone 11 Pro Max in a Rhino Shield with the back plate from the Mod NX on it withstood perfectly. The phone is in pristine condition, not a single scratch on it. The case held up perfectly, not a single scratch on the case, not a single 
dent, scratch, bend, or anything like that at all on the Rhino Shield bumper or the actual back plate. So if you're looking to see if this has enough protection for anything that you might do, it can withstall it can withstand a rather large man landing directly on it and breaking bones in his back, but not breaking your phone in the process. So I 100% stand behind the fact that Rhino Shield makes some pretty much bulletproof cases. Well, not bulletproof, but horseproof, I guess. Big thanks to Rhino Shield for sending some of these cases over. Uh, needless to say, I am a huge supporter of what they offer especially now that I know it can withstand so much damage and the phone comes out completely unscathed. So that's it. That's all I have. As always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below. We will see you next time.